Yeah, welcome everyone, Adam the here. How have you guys been? Man, it's been a while. Heck, it's been almost 24 hours since I saw you last. You been doing all right? You having a good day? Don't you fall over. Don't you teeter. Come back, come back here, come back to me. Come on, stand up straight, stand up tall. Get that posture working in full mode. Get that posture, get that chin up, get that neck out, get that forehead facing towards the sun. Wait, which way, which direction is the sun? I don't even know if that really has a lot to do with posture, if your forehead is facing the sun or not. But I just wanted to tell you, thank you for watching these vlogs every day. Some people do not like the intro. Some people do not like me telling everyone to, out there that this is what it is. And what is it? What is this? It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. Some water just got on the lens. It's Boiled peanuts. Five cans should be enough. That's the bat signal right there. It's lighting up. Barely, but it's lighting up. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Cross the deserts, bear, man. Sing it, Big the Foot. Check out all this soybean. On this side of the road, of course, is corn. And over there is soybean. And there's soybean here also. If you've ever had edamame, that's what soybean is. And these are soybean plants. And I'm walking out into a soybean field about, I don't know, I guess about knee high, maybe a little, a little bit taller than knee high. I'm going in deeper into the soybean field, hopefully. A farmer out here does not see me off the horizon and come out here and chase me off his property. All I want to do is mill around in the soybean, sir. This is crazy. It feels so weird. It feels like I'm going out into an ocean of crops. I think there's snakes in here. There might be snakes in here. The real question is, when do you start seeing the soybean beans themselves start to pop up? How long does it take before these plants start to bloom the actual soybeans? I feel like Kevin Costner right now. The soybean version of Kevin Costner. It's a lot of soybean. No, really. Look at all that soybean! Straight ahead is a small little town by the name of Russiaville. And while that itself is unusual, this town has something else I want to show you. Wow, there is an IGA in this town. I haven't seen an IGA in a long time. For those old enough, you might remember the name Ryan White, who was an elementary school student who contracted HIV and the AIDS virus through a blood transfusion. And the school that he went to was here in Indiana. His family lived in a town by the name of Kokomo, Indiana, but right outside Kokomo, the school system that he was enrolled in was here in Russiaville. And the school, an interesting story, the school back in the 80s that the HIV AIDS virus was very relatively unknown. People did not really understand it like we do today. And the town people and the school basically flipped out and banned him, kicked him out of school. And the news media and celebrities got a hold of this news. And Ryan basically became the poster child. And it became national news. It was a huge, huge, huge story. And I want to go check out the school. I want to go check out this historic school that did not allow him to go there.
Here it is, Western School. And straight ahead is the middle school, which is where Ryan went. When he was 13 years old, he was diagnosed. And that's the school that expelled him, the middle school, straight ahead. After he was expelled, the judicial system got a hold of it. And eventually, the school had to let him back. By this age, he was out of middle school and he was allowed to go to the high school, which is just on the other side of the property. I find this very ironic that the high school that they evicted him from, that they basically kicked him out of, is now doing a blood drive, which was the reason that all this happened in the first place. Kind of weird, right? Now, I'm sure there were plenty of good-hearted people who were not negative on the situation here at the school, either in the administration office, the students' parents, and whatnot. But the fact of the matter is that all of that culminated and began because the school ejected him from their property. They did not want him here for whatever reasons, either to protect their interest, to protect what the parents were thinking. It all stemmed from right here. So think about that. When you think of the Ryan White story, everything that you have seen, it would not have been known if it wasn't for this property. And if you know me personally or just through the beauty of these videos, you know I like to use my Columbo-like research skills and hunt down locations. And I'm going to do that right now. I have found the spot of one of the only few pictures of Ryan on the property here at this school. Check this out. The Western Administration entrance. Ryan would have walked straight out of these doors. And the only way I matched it up is because of this brick embankment here. And this. And the way the little awnings on the door are. And then right up here you can see this little lip where the roof meets the wall. And that's it right there. He came walking out of there and all the news media was here to interview him and take pictures. This is when he was allowed back to go to high school after the court system ruled in his favor. Now, even though he was allowed to go back to school here at the high school, his family and him decided that they were gonna move. They were getting too much flack from some of the students. He was getting a lot of hate in the classroom, things written on his locker that really were not very kind. So the family ended up moving to a small town right on the perimeter of Illinois. And that's where he lived until he died, just shy of his high school graduation. Now, originally when he was diagnosed, the doctor said he was only gonna live about six months. I think he lived about five years, give or take, which is a lot longer than anyone expected him to. on my window it's like little splotches of bug defecation I think I'm gonna go in here this time last time I drove by it I want to go check it out and see what this storybook Express drive-through place looks like indoors this is pretty cool looking up top there is like a, a weather vane it has a pig on it and look here on the side of the wall they have a gargantuan outlet which is just signifying the fact but there is a smaller outlet right there. And there is a pig's tuchus crammed in the wall above the entryway door. The theming inside there, there was, there was none. You walk in, it looks like a normal convenience store. But the outside is amazing. But inside, not so cool. Wamp, 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 wamp. Thumbs down on the inside of that place. One of these days, I'm gonna own this job a place. That place is pretty awesome. I had to get out of there before I spent some money. They had all kind of old Star Wars stuff, He-Man stuff. They even had a lot of old G.I. Joe stuff that wasn't even for sale. It was part of a collection. They had a little bit of everything in there. A pretty awesome toy store here in downtown Kokomo, Indiana. And I love these towns that have the circle around the courthouse. Kind of reminds me of the Dukes of Hazard. Covington, Georgia is that way. And every time I see a town that is similar, 
I think of the Dukes of Hazard. Oh, it's that dang mantis again. The Coco Mantis. Ron White says he gets very lonely. He misses his friends. The 13-year-old was banned from school after it was found he was suffering from AIDS. And now his school have said they never want him back in class. Doctors say he hasn't long to live. I don't want nobody else to get it. And I can see where they're worried. But I mean, if my doctor says it's okay to go back, I mean, I don't see no reason why I can't. Stay 